than somebody else for a setup tour, so I think I'm just going to do one real quick. Here's my gaming chair. Um, there's my cat that's also in my profile picture that just so happened to sit in my chair. Moving on to my setup, I have my laptop, which is like the main thing. It's a HP gaming laptop. It's 15 inches. I'd say it's pretty good for my first computer. I hope to upgrade it sometime in the future, maybe get like an actual computer, not just like a laptop. I don't even think you can find this exact model anymore because when I got it, it was on sale and most of the models that I find anymore have better specs in them. For my CPU, I have an AMD Ryzen 5 3550H with integrated graphics, but I have those disabled. I use my GTX 1050. My memory, I have eight gigabytes of RAM running at 2400 megahertz. Not the best, but you know, it works for me. For my GPU, I have a GTX 1050. I'd say it's been doing me pretty good. It actually runs pretty low whenever I play Fortnite, but my CPU and my RAM are the major things that run at like 90 to 100% at all times. Here's a little thing that likes to give me packet lock. Over here I have my monitor, which for some reason, the price spiked all the way up to $450 at the beginning of quarantine. I actually got it at $150 myself. I think it may have been the fact that everybody's running low on stock because people are running out and getting a, a lot of computers for either entertainment, Zoom, or stuff like that. Don't know why you need a 144 hertz monitor to run a Zoom meeting, but you do you. Over here I have my GMMK Compact with uh, Kale Copper switches. They're speed switches. And I actually have the Windows key removed because I click that thing a lot on accident and it will pop up the Windows thing so I have to re-click in my game. For my mouse, I use the Glorious Model D. I think it's really good. It's treated it really well for the about year I've had. The only thing I did notice, uh, after about a month of having it, the switch has kind of got mushy, but eventually that evened out and it doesn't feel like that anymore. For my mouse pad, I have an Enhance 2XL, I'm pretty sure. It's just Galaxy. I hope to get a new one sometime soon because humidity absolutely destroys it. Uh, I think I have a video that I'll try to put up on screen somewhere where I was literally like hitting my mouse and it would not budge at all. Over here I have my boxes for my GMMK Model D and my switches, which I still have a ton of switches in there because it's 120 and I only need like 60. For my headset, it's this one. I'm not really sure what the company name is for it, but it's pretty good. I hope to get a new one sometime soon because right here this kind of shorts out and it makes my ears bug out. So like sometimes when somebody's on the left, I'll just hear it in both sides and it will completely just mess up my game sense. Other than that, it's a pretty good headset and the microphone is pretty good on it. And here I have my Xbox Elite Series 2 controller. But I keep my control freaks on the two main ones that I use. I use my low rise on my left stick and my high rise on my right stick. Um, I do play claw, so the pedals are kind of useless to me. But whenever I first got it, I did not play claw. I used to play left hand claw, but not right hand. So once I got used to just both hands, then I just ended up taking them off. Keep my cord stored in here most times. I have all the other parts in here in case I want to just use a different one. But this is just typically how I keep the buttons. I'd say that's all for my setup. For the rest of the video, it's just going to be kind of a montage of some old clips that I have on my laptop because I do in fact have like 300 because I like to just pick the ones that I like to use have 247 so it's probably just going to be all these ones up here that i just have not gotten around to using most of them are from season five as well so yeah what the heck stop laughing at me yeah wait
Mr. Arena.